Hello, my name is Kerrigan Adamo. And my name is Anifa Onipede. And I'm Evelyn Gonzalez. And we all attend Harmony Science Academy High School, and we're all 10th graders. Our PBO is the Stop, Stop and Go, Go Light. The materials used for this, um, we use dextrose solution, indigo carmine solution. We also use sodium hydroxide solution and an Ellen Mayer flask. We use two graduated cylinders, one with 100 millimeters and one with 10. And the stopper to fit the flask. The procedure for the Stop and Go Life PBO is we place 100 milliliters of dextrose solution and 100 milliliters of hydroxide solution into a 500 milliliter Ellen Mayer flask. After this, we added 10 milliliters of indigo carmine solution to the flask and firmly inserted a stopper. Allow the solution to sit undisturbed until it is fully reduced. It can be shaken to obtain all of the colors. Indigo carmine is an organic redox and acid-based indicator. It exists in different oxidation states having different colors. The reduced form of indigo carmine is yellow, while the fully oxidized form is blue. There is also an intermediate red form whose structure has not been fully determined. In this demonstration, the blue oxidized form of indigo carmine is first added to a solution of dextrose and sodium hydroxide. It immediately turns green due to the pH change. Dextrose is a reducing sugar. It reduces the indigo carmine indicator to the yellow form in the presence of base. When the yellow solution containing the reduced form of indigo carmine is shaken, oxygen from the air above the liquid dissolves in the solution and reoxidizes the indigo carmine. The overall oxidation occurs in two steps. First, to the intermediate red form, and then to the fully oxidized green form. This Two-step oxidation sequence can be controlled by the rate of shaking, which influences the amount of oxygen that dissolves in the solution. When the solution is no longer being shaken, dextrose molecules again reduce the indigo carmine back to the yellow color.